of next year, especially uh, Europe being vulnerable. Uh, tell us why. Well, um, you know, absolutely. When you look at it from a global perspective, I'm not sure if it's a big surprise because so much of what's happening in Europe is really putting a clamping down on hiring. In, in many ways, hiring is really done on, on two bases. One is kind of a, a confidence index and the other is just pure demand. Both of those are really suffering in, in Europe. So what we're seeing even in Germany, uh, France, clearly areas like Italy and Greece, uh, Spain, those are coming down. That's very different than what we're seeing in some other parts of the world. So, so globally, true when you kind of amalgamate it all together, but there are still some bright spots that are that are in the hiring intentions as we go into the first quarter. And recently those bright spots? Yeah, the bright spots, actually, when you look at it, the United States is one of those bright spots. So, so not only from the fourth quarter to the first quarter, because this is a forward-looking survey. So when we look at the first quarter, it's better seasonally adjusted than the fourth quarter. But even more dramatically, if we look at the first quarter of, of 12 versus the first quarter of 13, it's even much better. So, so what we're hearing from, from many industries, not all, but in many industries in, in the U.S., is they plan on hiring more. The challenge is, all the things we're hearing about, is it the fiscal cliff, what about this, what about the, the Affordable Health Care Act, those are weighing heavy on minds, but without that, or with even some of that factored in, there's a bit more optimism in the U.S. than we've seen since 2008. China is a key driver of the global economy and, and the rest of the region. Well, what, what about China? and elsewhere. So China, we are seeing some of the better ones are the emerging markets. Um, China is a bit more leveling off, which I think we've seen, but Taiwan, Brazil, Ecuador, Peru, some of those are some very strong markets. We look at China by itself. China actually is just starting as we speak right now, as we're, we're into December, we're past the, 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 the baton passing of the new regime. And we in our own business is starting to feel China come back a little bit more. We would expect, because they've done some things in, in, the, in the labor market, that that while it will be a little slow start into the first year, uh, first quarter, which is what we're showing here, we actually think that uh, China's going to have a, uh, have a good year as we move into the latter middle part and latter part of 2013.